idea for Bubble Bum when I was travelling with my own children. And every time I arrived to the car rental desk, of course they didn't have the car booster seat, even though I pre-booked it in advance. So I used to crack up every time I got to the desk and say, well, why don't you have it? I pre-booked it. And the answer was always the same. We don't have anywhere to store them. They're too bulky. So I asked them, why is there no such thing as an inflatable car seat? And of course everybody laughed at me. So I came back and rather than accepting that there was no such thing as an inflatable car seat, I decided to ring all the crash test laboratories and ask them, what is the solution? You know, or is there a solution or has anybody ever tried to have an inflatable car seat? And I asked them to treat, they started speaking to me with all of these technical terms and I'm not an engineer. And I said, well, you know, treat me like a three year old and explain it to me like a three year old. And that's exactly what they did. And one of the main issues that they had was that an inflatable product must be crash tested in the worst possible case scenario, which for an inflatable product means deflated. So that was the major hurdle that we had to get over from the get-go. Before I started Bubble Bum, I had a franchise of travel counsellors, which was the largest homeworking network of travel agents. Prior to that, I had been working in local commercial radio station, and prior to that, I had been working as a quantity surveyor, a junior quantity surveyor, so it's quite a varied job role there, you would say. It's difficult at times, and I have had to do a significant amount of travel, transatlantic travel over the past number of years and travel back and forth to Asia. The one thing that we do in our house is I do involve the children in all aspects of the business and from the perspective of I want to know what their goals are and from the very beginning they had said to me, Mommy, I said what does success look like to you and I was expecting them to say oh when we have a helicopter and they said no when we were in and at that particular time it was when we were in Toys R Us and then more recently we asked them you know what does success look like for you and they said, oh, well, we would really love to be in Target stores in the US. So we do involve all of the kids in those types of conversations. And plus the fact my husband actually works with me, which is a good job. Otherwise, we would undoubtedly be divorced because I would never see him. But we're diametric opposites and with totally different skill sets. So it works really well. I'm actually going to give you two lessons. The first lesson that I ever learned was always 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 sign a non-disclosure agreement so sign a confidentiality agreement because it's too late after you've discussed something and someone comes back and says oh, well actually i've proceeded with your idea and i actually did have that happen to me in the very very beginning and the second thing that i would say is prior to your prototype prototype so before your prototype you're going to prototype so that you can fail fast if your idea is going to work let it work fast. If it's not going to work, at least you'll know quickly and you can move on to the next thing.